Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you have not been here before, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I have to start out this video by just giving a huge, huge thank you to you guys. I cannot believe how much my little, little channel has grown. It's obviously not like a mega channel or anything, but I am just so blown away by the feedback, the comments, the views, the subscribes. I really, really sincerely appreciate it. So I had to give a big thank you, first of all. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for subscribing. I am eternally grateful. It makes me feel really, really good, and it makes me excited to film more stuff for you guys, so thank you. This video is exciting to me because it was highly requested. A bunch of you guys asked how I do my makeup in the last few videos, so I did want to give you kind of an updated routine, something that I do in the spring and summer when it's a little bit warmer out. This is the makeup routine that I've literally been doing for weeks now. Actually, I kind of like figured it out while I was in California last because it was a little bit warmer out and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't wearing too heavy makeup because I don't like the feeling of makeup melting off my face. I don't know about you, but that's not my vibe. <laughs> so I did kind of develop this makeup routine in the last couple weeks and I've been wearing it religiously and I absolutely love it. So if you guys are curious to see how I get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. This is just a normal part of my skincare routine. I always apply this right before my makeup. And of course, Penny chooses now to start chewing her bone. You can apply the serum like right when you get up in the morning um, after you wash your face, but I just decide to usually put it on right before I do my makeup. Penny, can you please stop? And next I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I always use this before I put on my makeup as well. And I just use a little bit under my eyes because my under eye area is super, super dry. So if I don't, I look cute and crusty down there. So that's not what I want. And then I usually just blend it into other parts of my face that can sometimes end up looking a little bit dry. Next, I'm going to be using the Origins Ginseng SPF 40. This is their tinted moisturizer that I'm obsessed with. Um, I actually really love this, again, because it's tinted. So it adds a little bit of color to my face, but also for some reason, it just looks like there's a filter on my face. I can't describe it. It is relatively dewy. So if you're more into like mattifying moisturizers, I would not recommend this one unless you wanna like set it with a mattifying powder. But I'm in love with it. It gives me such a nice tint and glow to the skin. You do have to be careful though, because if you don't blend this out really, really well, you will end up with uh, streaks on your face. Not cute. So it obviously doesn't have any coverage to it, but I don't know if you can tell, but that gave me a lot of color to my face. I feel like with my studio lighting, it looks kind of funky, but in natural lighting, it looks really, really nice. And I also feel like with putting this on my skin, I'm not having to put as much foundation on, which is part of the reason that I think this is such a great routine for spring, summer, when it's a little bit warmer out. So I do really love that product a lot. Um, I am gonna also apply the Bite Beauty Agave. I don't know exactly what this is called. It's like a lip treatment or chapstick-y type thing. I just like applying this before I go in with a lip product later because it really, really helps smooth my lips. It's got kind of a weird texture to it, but it really works well, so I love this stuff. And the last step before putting any makeup on my skin, I'm going to use the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer. This really helps fill in my pores, which I need a lot of help with. So I just concentrate on the areas where I do have some pore issues. And this always goes on really, really nicely over that moisturizer, which I love.
Okay, now we are ready for some foundation and my absolute favorite foundation of all time, especially for spring and summer is definitely the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This has SPF 15 in it. I love this foundation. I don't know what it is about it, but it is such a good foundation for my skin. I'm so in love with it. It just goes on beautifully and I swear like there's other foundations out there that I love but after I use this one for some reason I'm just like I love the way my skin looks it's amazing so what I like to do with this for this makeup routine is apply it super super lightly again because I already have some color to my skin from that moisturizer I'm going to apply it really lightly so I just do like a nice little dunk in it's like not too much product and I'm really just only gonna focus on doing like one layer. I'm not trying to do anything super high coverage because this is a spring summer routine. And I don't know, for me, I just don't like to feel like there's a lot of makeup on my face during like warm times. So this is how I've been doing it lately and I love it. And then the last step I'm going to do is if there's any spots that I feel like a little bit insecure about, like little pimples or little scars, I'm gonna go with one more like little tiny layer on top of those spots only, like not around my entire face. So I'm gonna do that now. So that's how we're looking with just the foundation on again there's like some spots you can kind of see through but nothing crazy again I don't want it to feel super super heavy so I'm okay with like a little bit of stuff peeking through I am gonna use the Becca under eye corrector this is for my dark spots under my eyes a situation that I have not been able to rid yet but this definitely helps and I'm doing just a super, super light amount under my eyes. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love this concealer so much. It is a bit more of like a heavier concealer, but for this type of makeup, I try and just put the most minimal amount I possibly can with still covering my under eye circles as much as possible. So I just take a little bit and I'm going to apply like about that much under the eyes and just blend that out. And I'm trying to not like drag it down too far. I'm trying to keep it under my eyes as much as possible. That might be a lot for some of you, but that is <laughs> a little for me. And I'm just using my damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. eyes I'm using the Beauty Bakery flower powder I love this stuff for setting my under eye I just tap some product out into the lid area and I'm gonna use that damp beauty blender again to just set my under eye area normally when I bake I use a lot of powder but because I want this to feel a little bit lighter I try to use a minimal amount of powder maybe like that much Next, I want to lightly set the rest of my face. So I'm using my e.l.f. powder brush and my Thrive Cosmetics powder. This stuff is amazing for filling in pores, which I have a lot of. So I'm just going to put a really, really light amount around my entire face. I usually like to focus first on the spots that I feel like I need it the most. So I focus on my cheeks first. And then I'm just going to take a little bit on my forehead here. What's left over on my brush, I'm just going to blend out on the rest of my face. I want my skin looking the most skin-like as possible. So that's why I'm trying to apply a very minimal amount of powder and liquids on my face. Next, I want to put a little bit of bronzer on. I don't go too crazy. Well... 
maybe not too crazy in my mind maybe in other people's minds it's kind of crazy but i'm using the Too faced sweethearts bronzer this is in the shade sweet tea i love this stuff and i'm just going to apply a little bit to my temples and this is the r2 from morphe that i'm using start up in the highest points of my temples and then i just drag it down a little bit I love this bronzer because it's so glowy and it just adds so much definition to the face. Normally when I do my makeup, I do contour a little bit with a bronzer, but I'm actually gonna skip that step today. And I'm just using the Hoola Benefit little brush in here. You can use any old brush, but I like to contour my nose still a little bit, not because I'm trying to like get a smaller nose, <laughs> But because I do feel like my nose kind of just gets like lost in the flatness of my face, if that makes sense. So I do contour a little bit. I do contour my jawline a little bit too. And then I do want to soften up that nose contour a little bit. So I just take my powder brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to stamp it into my skin. Oh, something in my eye. Okay, let's bring a little bit more life to my face. So I am using my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I love this stuff. I've used it for years. It's so pretty. It's got such a nice peachy, pink, corally look. And it does have like a good amount of shimmer in it too. So I think it looks just like pretty and luminous. I love that. I just love a gorgeous peachy blush so much. Another step I like to do in the spring and summer is just take a little bit of blush on my blush brush and add it to my nose. So I just focus it mainly right here at the bridge of my nose. And I just feel like that makes me look a little bit more like sun-kissed, like a cute little sunburn. Not burnt <laughs> and peeling but i just love that blush it just really really gives so much luminosity to the skin i love it we cannot skip highlight even though we're trying to make it a little bit more minimal we can't skip highlight so i am going to use my pixie skin treats hydrating milky mist and i'm just going to spray my morphe m51 m510 just spray that a little bit Clearly, I'm almost out of this. And the highlight I'm using is my all-time fave. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight. I love this one so much. Whoa. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and focus mainly on the high points of my cheeks. Not going too crazy. Just need a little glow to the skin. Like, just it's so pretty. I can't resist. And then I do like to apply a little bit to my nose as well. This is just the Morphe M433. And then another trick that I like to do is put a little bit of highlight in the inner corners of my eyes. Like so gives me a little bit more of a glow. Next, we're gonna move on to brows. I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette, which I believe this is not sold anymore, but you can use any old brow powder. I just like using this one because I still have a lot of it left. I'm brushing out my brows first and I'm literally only filling them in where I have like kind of empty spots. So here my brows are like a little bit thicker, so I'm not really gonna pay attention to those. I'm not trying to like carve them out, I'm just trying to fill them in slightly. And I'm trying to do like hair-like strokes with my brush too. I'm not doing like a line, like a thick line motion. Okay, and that's what we're looking like now. 
Um, I'm just going to slightly fill in with a little bit of brow powder my little freckles that I have on my face. Because those get kind of lost with all the makeup and stuff I put on. Next, I want to set this all so it all stays in place, doesn't move around during the day. So I am going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like using this because I feel like it really does set my makeup in place, but I'm also going to go over it with another makeup setting spray. That's extra. And then I also want to use the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I love this stuff. It's like so dewy and gorge and then while that's kind of like drying I'm going to use just like a little spoolie for my eyelashes and set those in place where I want them clearly I have eyelash extensions these are not my real eyelashes I wish they were I like setting them in place when they're wet because I feel like they can kind of look a little bit more natural versus brushing them when they're dry they look a bit more like fluffy I don't know, I just like that look. And I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes only. I'm using the Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara by Maybelline. This is in the shade Cherry Black. Next, I'll be using my favorite boy brow from Glossier to just make my brows look a little bit more caterpillary, fluffy. That's my vibe. least we're going to do a very neutral lip today during the spring and summer I do love to like play it up with colors especially like hot corally reds and like cute little pinks and corals but today I'm trying to do something a little bit more neutral something a little bit more wearable so first things first there's two different lip liners that I like to use when I am doing more of a neutral lip the first one is the Kylie Cosmetics exposed lip liner this one's really really good but today i'm going to use the nyx lip liner in the shade natural i love this one it is super super natural looking i'm just gonna line my lips as you can see it's like pretty much the same color as my lips but a lip liner makes i feel like the next step look a little bit more like even and natural makes your lip color last a little bit longer so I do like using a lip liner and I'm also going to use the NYX soft matte lip cream this is the shade London this is like my favorite nude lip color ever I love this color so much have it this is the finished look it's very very simple as you could see from the tutorial there's nothing too crazy about it but that's the kind of makeup that I personally like I do like to just kind of throw it on feel good about it but don't feel like I'm wearing like I don't know too much craziness not to say I don't appreciate a like full glam beat on the face I will do that every once in a while but just for every day I feel like this is super super simple looking and just easy and pretty quick to accomplish I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure and give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite type of makeup to wear during spring and summertime is I am so curious also comment down below if you guys have any suggestions I really really appreciate you guys giving me feedback on what you like to see from my videos so thank you so much for doing that Please make sure you are subscribed if you have not already. I really, really appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.